Guys, welcome back. On tonight's episode, we're making spicy fried chicken sandwiches. Let's get cooking. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah. All right, guys, so a spicy chicken sandwich. Here's what you're gonna need. The most important thing, well, there's a few, so I'm not gonna say that, but you're gonna need chicken thighs. Boneless, skinless chicken thighs. These are gonna go right into a bowl. Next, you're gonna need a spice blend. In here, I have, very important, I have paprika, chili powder, onion powder, garlic powder, and then cayenne pepper. This is where we're gonna get all our heat from. So I'll have all the measurements down below as always, and then some salt to finish it off. But that's our spice mix. We're gonna use it three ways. We can mix these spices together to form one blend. We can start by adding about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of that dry rub right to the chicken, and then we're gonna cover that with buttermilk. So this is gonna sit and this is all gonna start getting marinated together. I'm just adding buttermilk until the chicken is covered. And then to that, I'm gonna finish it off by adding some hot sauce, a good amount. And now this is gonna sit in the fridge. Ideally, you wanna sit this overnight for like 12 hours. But if you're in a rush, 45 minutes at the very least. 30 to 45 minutes is really what you need to really start the process. That buttermilk's gonna start tenderizing and everything. That spice is gonna penetrate in. It's all gonna be better the longer you let it sit. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge while we get started with everything else. The only other things we're gonna need, I have some brioche buns here that will toast up right at the end. And then I have a cucumber. We're gonna make a quick pickle. If you wanna use store-bought pickles, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna show you a quick way to make a nice pickle, which is delicious too, by the way. Just slice it whatever length of pickle you want. I'm gonna do a quick pickle, so the thinner you slice it, the better, the faster the vinegar is gonna be able to act on there and really get some pickling action going on. And I'm dropping fucking cucumbers everywhere, so we're gonna stop there. Ah, two more. Boom, all right, we'll stop there. I don't know if there's any good way for everyone to see this. Cucumbers go into the bowl. To that, I'm just gonna add vinegar. What am I gonna use? Do, 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 do. I'm just gonna add some rice wine vinegar, because that's all I have, and you can use white wine vinegar, regular white vinegar, even red vinegar will be fine. That, those will all pickle. So a little bit of vinegar just to cover those. Cucumbers goes in. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar, about half a tablespoon, and then some red chili flakes, kosher salt, black pepper. Now, that's just gonna sit in the fridge as well, and that's gonna start to quickly pickle. Oh, and then I have some oil. I have vegetable oil. Oil that's been on the heat now for like 30 minutes just warming up. Now I'm gonna grab cornstarch and flour. That is what I'm gonna be using for our dredge. I like to use a combination of the two because cornstarch, you're gonna get that really light, crispy breading on it. And then with flour, it's gonna help you get that deep color and that traditional uh, like chicken nugget coating that you would associate when you fry chicken. The ratio is every cup of flour you use, you're gonna use half a cup of cornstarch. So depending on how much chicken you're using, you're gonna need more breading. I'm gonna do a full cup of cornstarch and two cups of flour. To this, I'm gonna add a little bit more of our spice mixture. About two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons. Give that flour, cornstarch, and seasoning a quick mix. I forgot one thing. I forgot something with the chicken. I forgot to add, I'm gonna add one egg. Get yourself an egg. This is gonna thicken up and make it more of a batter. One egg goes in. Fuck me. One egg goes in. And I should have beat the egg with the milk before I put the chicken in, but I didn't. I fucked it up. So I'm just gonna stir that egg in the best I can while the chicken's all in there. So you have some pickle juice. That would be nice in here too. You can add some pickle juice. That'll help break it down, help tenderize. The acid will really start to get to that chicken. So we'll go back in here. I'm gonna let that go four hours for me. Now, we will bread it. What I'm gonna be doing is double breading it, which means I'm gonna start in this. We're gonna go in the flour, we're gonna go back into the wet and then into the dry again. So you're gonna get a double coating, a nice thick layer of breading. That's the best way to do it. So since we're double breading this, we don't have to worry about drying off this initial marinade. We're gonna do it all at once just to keep things clean. Now, just give these, these an initial toss about. Make sure you get all the cracks, really pat it down. Once your first coating is done, we're going back into the buttermilk. Shake off the excess flour, and now we take those pieces and we go one final time into the flour. And really, on this final layer, really pack it in there. See, even that, make sure you bend it up and get any of those wet spots, just pat it in. We are ready to move on to the fryer. Now to check that our oil's ready, let's just grab a little piece of flour and just stick it in. It should bubble right away, good. Another way to check and see if the oil's hot enough is you take a chopstick, stick it in, if it starts to bubble up around the wood right away, that's another indication that it's hot enough. You can also use a wooden spoon for this, but that's ready to go. Ow. We're gently gonna lay these pieces into the hot oil. Start to just give it a little bit, let it get started, and then gently plop it in. We're gonna let those chutter away. What you're really looking for whenever you're frying chicken is for the color to be perfectly golden brown. So it's gonna take anywhere from five to seven minutes. Thighs aren't that big, they're pretty thin, there's no bone in them, so they're gonna fry relatively quickly. All right, while that chicken fries up, I'm gonna make a very quick sauce. A little bit of mayonnaise, a little bit of whole grain mustard, about half as much mustard as mayonnaise. 
and then hot sauce of your choice, the same thing that you use for the batter. I'm using a nice, uh, this is a habanero pepper sauce, very spicy, but very, very good. That's my go-to, is usually always a habanero based. We're just gonna stir that very simple sauce, nothing crazy here, guys. Chicken's looking beautiful, so I'm gonna pull this out, and look at that coating of breading we have. Ah, I got the oil on my fucking hand. Come on. That's what that double breading does. Buns, simple, just in butter. Let those toast. The final step is to paint on our hot spice sauce. So, where'd my bowl go? All right, so our remaining spice blend, we're gonna take that and just put it all into a bowl. And then what we're gonna do is, the oil's still on the heat, so we still have hot oil. That's important. I'm gonna grab a ladle. Just be careful while doing this. Take the hot oil, come right into the bowl, right over that spice, just like that. Just get that now. Get that all mixed up, let all those spices dissolve in that hot oil. And it's gonna punch you right up in the nose. It's gonna be very intense. And then, I'm doing this on the fly. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit of honey. So now we have the sweet, we have the spicy. Now this is a honey glazed hot chicken sandwich. Whoa, say that five times fast. Oh, it's cooking. Look how glossy that is. Beautiful. Now grab a paintbrush, grab the artist's tool, and here we go. You Picasso it, you paint. Oh my God. Look at all that flavor. You're just painting on flavor bombs in here. Bombs, bombs. That's a hot chicken sandwich right there. That's what takes us to the next level. It's just that paint right on top. Woo! Oh, my buns, my buns, my buns. Beautiful. All right, let's assemble a sandwich. I'm gonna do a right. Oh my God, that chicken looks good. Hot, everything's hot, everything's hot. What am I doing? What am I doing? Sauce, we're gonna go both layers here. Both layers, both buns, that's what I meant to say. Top and bottom. So pickles go on the bottom. A little bit of freshness, nice zing from vinegar. Let's get our beast. What's going on? these, look how big these are. Come on now, y'all, come on now. Now you just close them up. It's glowing, there's a hue around this. That's what hot chicken will do. Hot, hot, hot chicken. That's what hot chicken will do. You're gonna make an aura around your kitchen. It's like a wizard. Enough of that wizard shit. Let's cut into it, listen to this. And there we go. Look how juicy that is. Ladies and gentlemen, the jury, cheers. Mm -hmm. That hits every time. Every time it goes, it'll knock you off your socks. All right, guys, that's gonna make hot chicken sandwiches. I'll see you next time. I'm Donnie, peace. I mean, that's proper delicious right there. Proper deliciousness. I'm a private chef, cook for money, yeah.